We're backstage at American Idol, and unfortunately, one of the top four had to go, and unfortunately, times two, it was Amber. This was really emotional for you. I, I feel like of this season, this was the most emotional any contestant got. What was it specifically, though, that just was really hard for you to handle tonight? I feel, you know, just leaving everybody and then having to sing, knowing that this, there's no save, you know, you're already gone, like, that was just hard. Does, is there any part of you that's, like, I mean, what, you know, obviously you knew that, that somebody was going to have to go home tonight and stuff. What, what was it about, though, going home? Like, what does that signify in your head? Obviously, people don't like to go home, but the, something really triggered you. So what do you think it was? Um, I think it was just the fact that I, I was leaving. Because, I mean, I'm not going to get to talk to my girls anymore and have our insiders and stuff. But, I mean, yeah. Do you think, do you think, um... You know, do you think America, obviously you think America got it wrong, but what do you think they didn't see? Like, if you could go and you could sit down with everybody that votes and explain why you should have won, what would you have said to them? Or at least stayed to top three. Um, I was just being myself. You know, I told everybody to expect the unexpected, and I feel like I stood by that. You know, whatever I felt like was a challenge I took, and I did, so... Now you had some definite standout moments. What are some of the standout moments on stage performances that you think people are going to remember Amber by? Most definitely Love on Top because that was a real, like, risk. Yeah. You know, I don't think anybody has done that on the show or has done anything similar to that. So, I mean, like, that right there, I feel like that. That was standout-ish. <laughs> I think the funny Valentine and then, uh, correct, was it Bette Midler, right? Those mm -hmm. Bette Midler that you did? Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand, sorry. <laughs> I don't know my old school white divas that well. Good. So, yeah, yeah. But, no, that was good. Okay, so uh, how are you going to, you know, we heard, we heard you um, talking about suitcases. So you have mm -hmm. to figure out how to get all your stuff back home. Oh, my gosh, I have so much crap. I, I went shopping, like, every weekend and on all my downtime. So I bought like 11 pairs of shoes since I've been here. And when I got here, I had to sit on my suitcase to close it. So now <laughs> I have to go buy another suitcase. Now you're going to have to sit down and do backflips and get other people yeah. to sit on it to close it. <laughs> exactly. So what are you going to, the first thing you do when you get home, what do you think you're going to do? Like, you know, you get back from the airport, you go into your house. What's the first thing you're going to do when you walk in your room? I'm probably not going to walk in my room. I'm going to run to my car and give it a nice hug, <laughs> honk the horn. <laughs> Make sure it's still alive. I know, yeah. And then I'm probably just going to run to the mall <laughs> and buy more clothes, oh, which I don't need. <laughs> but what, what do you think the number one thing you are going to miss and the number one thing you're probably not going to miss? Oh, the number one thing I'm going to miss is just everybody. And I mean, you know, every Wednesday it was a lot of pressure to go on stage and sing, but I mean, a little nerves never hurt anybody, so yeah. I'm, I'm gonna miss that. And the one thing I'm not gonna miss is the fact that somebody leaves me every week. Like, that yeah. That sucks. Or, you know, actually might be the one that has to leave. <laughs> you know, that I won't miss that. Well, we're gonna see the finale. Uh, a lot of times you get to sing with someone amazing. Who would you really hope that they pair you up with for the finale? Oh my gosh, Rihanna or Miguel or Frank Ocean. Or Beyonce. What y'all doing May 15th and 16th? Come on. Yeah. They got to they come out. Exactly. They do. If they love me. They so it's not over, though. You're going on the tour. Uh, what, are you, what are you looking forward to most going on the tour with, with these 10 other crazy people that you've become close with? I am looking forward to more insiders and more moments and, you know, just going on stage and killing it and not worrying about going home. Like, that piece of pressure is going to be off my back, so I'm going to be even more free on stage. Yeah, they got to get tickets for the tour, yes. definitely. Um, lastly, what when you get down in the lab, it's time to record an album. What is going to be your mission statement? Like, what do you want to do for your first album? What do you want the, the fans to, to know from about you? After listening to My album is, I want it to consist of, you know, having fun and just being yourself and letting go of everything else and just, you know, not worrying about what other people think about you or anything like that. That's what I would love to promote, you know. Absolutely. Well, they're going to definitely get to listen to it, but they for, first they should buy the, the tickets for the tour. Oh, yeah. And after they go to the tour, they should definitely be looking out for you because they're going to have an amazing album. We already know this. All right. Well, we miss you. Are you can you walk out one last time? Our interview, their diva walk. Yes. All right, you guys. Amber, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, will not be back on American Idol, but she's going to give us one more walk. <laughs> All right, you guys. Amber, make sure you get your tickets and see her on tour.